Welcome. All right. Welcome, welcome, boardroom gamers. Here we are. Tonight's the night. We are kicking off this spooky season with this war of mine. Mm. We're going for a little bit more production value tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We hope you enjoy this thematic experience we've tried to lay out before you. It's going to be a feast of sadness. <laughs> You're so right. This game is amazing. Um, it has so many moving parts. But uh, once you get it down, it's super thorough. I'd say it's very similar to the uh, computer game, uh, the video game, if you've played that. Uh, you'll know this is not a happy game. This is a pure survival. This is us trying to stay alive. And with that ding, we begin. This war of mine takes place over a series of rounds, uh, over a series of rounds where we introduce to you the board. This is our house. You can show them around the house, Troy. All right. So right now we live here, just um, just underground. Uh, no, maybe this is the first floor. But you'll see this house is full of rubble and locked doors and heaps of stuff and more rubble. It's a mess. So what's at the bottom? I see gears. I see so this, beads. This is our storage. This is where everything we've collected as a group we keep um, when things need resources to be built or to be paid we get it from there that's that's what we've collected as survivors take me through the resources well right here we got some wood that'll happen you'll see a lot of those we go through a lot of wood and uh, this is components we also go through a lot of components building stuff renovating uh, these guys count as water um, everyone needs to drink water there it is. Uh, the green tokens here are food. There's several green tokens and they're all like edible stuff. But again, it's pretty self-explanatory. We need to eat every day or things go bad real quick. Uh, we actually also start off with a lock pick and a shovel. Uh, so that's gonna make things a little bit easier. But one thing to note in this game is unless noted otherwise, everything breaks after use. So- One time use. Yeah, that shovel, it's gonna be a little bit useful, but after we dig through one pit of rubble, it's gone. Okay. Um, why don't you introduce us to the players? Okay, so I've randomly drawn Roman here as our leader. Sveta is uh, also here with us, and so is Marin. Uh, Roman is a deserter. He's a survivor. He's going to be a scrapper, uh, do a lot of fighting for us. Doesn't have a lot of empathy, you know. That, uh, that's okay. He has a lot of prowess. He fights, he's good at it, I like him. Prowess allows for re-rolling dice at some point? Yeah, yeah, there are combat dice, and for every prowess you have, you get to re-roll them. Okay. To hopefully get a better outcome. Tell me about A, B, and C on him, because the, the camera just sometimes we can't get the right angle. Sure, sure. So by themselves, they don't do anything, but some card effects will say, activate someone's A ability. Okay. Uh, so most of them are negative. It's like, uh, let's see, his first habit, A, discard one cigarette from the storage or raise Roman's misery by one. So, so he's addicted to smoking. Dang, he just really needs a cigarette. And if you don't have it, he's miserable. Okay. Uh, Sveta here is a school headmistress. She is not a fighter. She has a massive amount of empathy, which could be good or bad, depending on how things go. Okay, um, does she have a habit? She has a coffee habit. Ah, okay. And what about Marin there? What's his deal? Marin is a garage owner. Uh, he's really good with junk. He actually has a special ability for something related to the board. You'll get, you'll get to see that. Uh, he has a coffee habit as well. Oh boy, they're going to be fighting over coffee, but she's going to be <laughs> so empathetic to his coffee habit that she'll share she'll, here, willingly here, at her coffee. own detriment. <laughs> okay. Um, you'll also notice these colored rings. They represent the characters on the board. You get little colored bases to clip onto characters. Okay. Uh, they had a huge selection. There's, um, I want to say, nine other characters to choose from. So twelve in total. You get a lot of, you get a lot of choices, a lot of replay value. It's pretty cool. You can see the rings on the characters in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Uh, here, uh, the green, the yellow, and the orange. 
And then a close-up view of the inventory that we were talking about, the, the raw food, the shovel, the lockpick, etc. Yeah. Okay, and then um, describe the dice that we're going to be using this evening. Let's take a look. Okay, so these are the dice we'll need, the four dice. This black 10-sider gets used a lot for various effects. Uh, and then these colored six-siders here are for combat. So gray is? Gray is for unarmed combat. Uh, yellow is for melee weapons and red is for firearms uh, each one having progressively more chances of hitting and doing damage okay that's about it for, for the dice. dice so so that pretty much that um, kind of describes who the players are and what's the what's the scene here what, what's happening so this is us uh and all these various card piles kind of represent that uh, everything over here uh, is mostly for locations. That that means there are times of the day where we might actually leave the house and and start foraging around the neighborhood. So there's a supermarket, mm -hmm. city hospital, and a, uh, a shelled school. Shelled school. Okay, so this is after a war. Yes. Yeah. Everything is devastated. It's just us and people like us trying to survive. There's still a lot of soldiers around. So going out is super dangerous during the daytime and still pretty dangerous at night. All right. So with that being said, let's uh, let's dive into phase one and see how this game unfolds. Okay. We start with the morning phase. Day one, our journey begins. The first thing we do is take the first card of the events deck. This one that says chapter one. Determine the objectives for each of the three chapters of the campaign. Find a final objective in the objectives deck and place it on the objective space on the board. I already did that. Uh, then draw two more objective cards and place them on the final objective. Also already did that. These cards should be placed face up and you may look at them anytime. So I've not looked at them yet. Let's see what our objectives are. The final one's gonna stay. Okay. So, two objectives. Uh, and these are just things that we're gonna have to focus on during this particular game. The first one is staying fit. At the end of the chapter, all characters' hunger must be zero. So, every few days is a new chapter. And every time it's a new chapter, we check in with these and uh, check their effects. So notice their hunger right now is two. Yes, we actually start hungry. Okay. Uh, so hopefully we can forge for enough food to uh, fill our bellies. Okay. Uh, at the end of the chapter, all characters' hunger must be zero. If we succeed, uh, we draw two additional narrative action cards, which from what I understand tend to be positive. So that'll be good. Penalty, broken morale, raise all characters' misery by two. So if uh, even if one person is a little bit hungry, the morale is going to be broken. Uh, and this could happen multiple times, depending on how many chapters we get through. Okay. Uh, and the second one is Soldiers Disarm the Civilians. This card a functional firearm from the storage during every new chapter. So we have a few days to find a gun <laughs> just to give it away. Uh, reward, peace. During the next night raid phase, do not draw a night raid card. So if we give up our gun, we get one night, uh, one night's rest. Nice. Um, which is super nice. You'll you'll see night raids are not fun at all. <laughs> uh, penalty beating. If we do not give them a gun, uh, or if we don't have a gun to give them, they beat us up. Uh, and we have to distribute three three wounds between each of our characters. Okay, so not three each, but three total between three the total. Okay. Just some extra stuff to make things harder. Um, I'll leave them here. Okay. They're both. It's just something we're going to have to think of to remember. Sure. Okay. Now we have the day actions. The morning has passed. The day has begun. We get to decide what we want to do. So normally each character has three actions, but you'll see we actually start hungry and uh, one of those actions has been blacked out, which means these guys are so hungry, they only get two actions today. Um, so again, hopefully we can feed them and, and get their uh, hunger levels lower and they'll be more productive. All right. So one thing you'll notice is that it's not each character taking a turn, you take them simultaneously. Uh, so I'm gonna decide what each of these three characters is doing and then resolve all three of them. That'll be one action. Then I get to do it again. And then that phase will be over. So. Marin here, the uh, garage owner, he's going to poke around because he's good at that. He actually gets an ability that makes him better at that. Let's see. Sveta here is curious about what's behind the locked door, so she's going to try to pick that lock. 
Uh, and Roman is going to dig through this heap, hopefully find some good stuff. So I've chosen. Now I get to resolve. Sveta here is going to try to pick the lock. So we take our lock pick, we use it up. It's gone, and it might not even work. So we'll see. So I'm going to roll. For picking a lock, uh, I roll this 10-sider, and on a 1 to 3, nothing happens. <laughs> so maybe it breaks. It does. So she tries to, to uh, pick the door, breaks the, the uh, pick, and nothing happens. That's a bummer, but that's what happens. Uh, Roman here is going to dig through this heap. Let's see what we find. Oh, good. We find a lot of good stuff. We find a weapon part. Hey, look at there. Maybe we'll make a weapon. <laughs> gonna go into our storage now. Uh, we get a sugar. Wow, this is a good heap. We get five components and two wood. Five components, two wood. Okay, okay, things are looking a little up. Uh, and also now we've cleared this space, which will become important uh, as we try to build stuff. We actually need to clear these rooms out and try to build things to keep us alive. Uh, and now I'm gonna resolve Marin here. He's gonna poke about. So in this square, uh, I'm going to roll the black die, and depending on what I get, uh, he finds that amount of wood or components. Uh, and then he actually gets a bonus. He gets to add three to his black die roll. That wasn't a three, that was a six. And on a six, we get two wood or components. Uh, I see a lot of components, so I'm going to take two wood. Digging around, he found some wood. Okay. So that was the first action. Uh, now we give them another task each. Okay. And that'll be their second action. Uh, I have no more lock picks, so I cannot get through that door. That was a bummer. Um, Could the two of them dig through some rubble together? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. So Rome's going to keep digging through this heap. Okay. But these two, they're going to try to dig through this rubble over here. And you'll see it says requires a shovel, which I have. I don't want to burn it yet, just yet. Or requires two characters. So if two people are there, uh, I burn up nothing and I dig through that rubble. Okay. So the first thing I get in this heap is probably some more stuff. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Wow. I've gotten pretty lucky so far. I find one electrical part, one water, and three components. One water, three more components. Wow. You've got a you've got a pretty big inventory there. Yeah, yeah, I better start building stuff. <laughs> well the getting's good. And then these two here are gonna dig through the rubble. Sure. So when we flip that, we see that it's now rubble remnants and it needs another action to further dig through. Okay. Rubble is the worst, by the way. It gives you nothing good, it's just in the way. It's the worst. So it's just rubble. <laughs> It's just rubble. Okay, so they've all taken their two actions. They don't get that third because they're hungry. The day ends. That's that's their day. Uh, we get the dusk phase. Each character must drink one water. You have working it. Working so hard all day. Uh, luckily, I found that third water, or one of them would be going thirsty. Um, but they're okay. So I get to use up my water, and uh, nothing bad happens to them. <laughs> Yet. Yet. Hunger. Uh, each character should eat one or more food. Raw food here actually lowers their hunger by one if they eat that. So today went pretty well. I'm not going to cut rations or anything. I'm going to give them all some food. So each one's going to eat one of these raw foods up. Okay. And they get to lower their hunger by one. So this is going to flip from two hunger to one hunger. So they're still a little bit hungry, but you'll see now that none of their circles are... Um, crossed out, so they get their full three actions tomorrow, unless something else happens. So that was dusk. They drank, they ate, now it's evening. Now we decide what to do with these guys at night, because it's a little darker out. We could go scavenge, we could sleep. No one's fatigued, but it is a, a possibility. Uh, and also guard duty, which is super important. You literally lose the game if you have no one on guard duty. As people take over the house, right? Yeah, the house gets raided and they just take all your stuff and it's bad. Uh, so Roman here is really good at guarding. So this is the guard post. He's gonna stay there tonight. Actually, I have nothing better to do. I'm a little worried about going out. 
uh, and scavenging because I got a lot of stuff and I really want my guys to be fresh and not wounded or I don't want anything bad to happen so we can build stuff tomorrow. So I'm gonna put all three of them on guard too. Kind of take it easy this first day. Nothing terrible's happened. Let's just celebrate by, by not going too hard. You'd think he's done this before. <laughs> Hello, Kiwi Koi Originals. Thank you for joining our spooky This War of Mine virtual experience. So, during each night, there's a night raid where someone, someone tries to break in. So here's what happens during the night raid. First, if we had any weapons, which we don't, we would choose which card gets the weapon. So right now, no one. Everyone's unarmed. Next thing we do is take the night, the top night raid card, resolve it. Uh, okay, okay. So this is a really cool feature. Um, I'm going to show this. You're not going to understand it. That's okay. Uh, this game comes with a huge book of scripts, and all these numbers correspond to uh, numbers in the script book. So we actually get to see like stuff happens to these people. I don't know what it's going to be. Okay, choose a character currently on guard duty. Uh, Roman. Roman. Yeah. <laughs> Chuck their misery. They're not miserable. Roll the black die. That is a three. So for Roman on a three, uh, Jeff, would you read entry 280? I will. <laughs> I'd been at the front line since this shit got serious. My unit was always the first to go in and the last to get out. After I lost a quarter of my men, the superiors decided we needed some R&R. &R. That's how I wound up in Poor Grant, where all was quiet. It was not to last. Return to the game. Wow, okay, so a little exposition there, but sounds like nothing bad happens. So that card, you'll notice there's only a couple Night Raid cards, so every time you draw one, it just gets shuffled back in. That's gonna go right back there. Um, so actually, that was super good. <laughs> no one attacked us. We just had a quiet night. I'm super hopeful we might survive. Uh, if someone went scavenging, it's now dawn, that person would come home, but no one's out scavenging. Uh, one thing that does happen though, people on guard duty, they get fatigued because it takes, uh, you know, not sleeping is a bummer. So since I had them all on guard duty, they all get one fatigue. Now the upside to keeping them all on guard duty is if something did go down, they'd be there to help absorb the damage. Right, yeah, everyone would be there fighting. Uh, I think I get multiple die rolls for each of them. Got it. So it was a risk uh, that we ended up not needing to take, but I'm still glad we took it. <laughs> so things go bad, they go real bad. Uh, okay, so it's the next morning. Uh, unfortunately, our characters, because they're fatigued, they're still back at two actions uh, because one of their abilities has one circle crossed out. So we're still down to two actions each. Uh, oh, actually, the morning. First thing we do is draw an event from the event deck. Food shortages. Remove the following tokens. Oh no. Remove the following tokens from the box, not from the storage. Into the waste bag. One canned food, two raw food, three vegetables. So what this is doing uh, is literally cutting how many, how much food we could possibly find. Uh, because now there's a card that says to draw that food and there are not those tokens there, we just don't get it. There's a food shortage. Not good. Not good at all. Oh, also, I forgot this top part. Add three in the cold space. So it was a real cold night Wow. on top of all that. So that's gonna go up here, and uh, that is going to affect the game a little bit because things are a lot harder to do when everyone's cold. Okay, day actions. What are we gonna do? There's a food shortage and it's freezing. Uh, one of the cool things, you can't see them too well, but there's these cards up in the corner. Uh, these green ones are things we can build. And what's cool about them is we have access to the whole lot of them at once. So if we have the components to build one, we just get to build it. So what I'm thinking of doing is, I'm gonna look through that real quick and see if there's anything worth building that might get this cold out of here. Okay, there's a simple heater. Build a simple heater. It costs us five components, three wood. You know what? We have plenty of that. So I'm going to take five components here. One, two, three, 
four to five. Uh, oh, you know what? I have to decide who's building it. So let's see who's probably the best builder. Marin, he's the uh, garage owner. So he's gonna work on building a simple heater. Uh, they actually have to go in the house, so he's gonna build it right here. Um, before I resolve, I'm just gonna put this on him so we know he's using those up. And uh, let's see what everyone else is doing. I still have no lock picks for that door. But you know what? I have a shovel. So um, Roman here is gonna dig through the rubble remnants. And he's- Does that only take one person? No, it's same thing. It's a shovel or two people. I was gonna burn the shovel, but I'm not. He's gonna get some help. We're gonna clear out this rubble. Okay. So this is our first action. I'll resolve now. These two clear this rubble, giving us nothing except a clear space. It's okay though, it had to be done. And Marin is going to build our simple heater. So this card flips now, and we have a simple heater. What that does for us is it actually has an ability now, and if we put people in that square, they can, uh, uh, we can burn two wood or books. We don't have any books. We can do burn two wood to discard one of the cold tokens. Okay. I didn't know that costs resources. Well. Okay, so that was our first action. Our second action, uh, we just uncovered this furniture. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is we can only access parts of the house that are next, that are adjacent to empty parts. So in the corner here, there's underground rubble and heaps. We can't even get there until we dig through everything along the way. And that one you have to dig, th or you have to cut open the bars. Yeah, there's actually some bars here. We need a uh, saw blade to get through. So until we build one or find one, like we just can't go underground. Um, okay, so for this action, we've covered some furniture. So uh, let's let Marin dig through that furniture. Uh, I do want to heat it up. So Sveta here is going to try to warm the place up for her action. It's going to cost us two wood. Marin, 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 what are you going to do? Does he poke about? I think so. For more wood? Yeah, we need we need more wood. Okay. Oh, you know what? Marin's going to dig through the furniture. Or, uh... Rome's gonna dig through the furniture. And Marin's gonna poke about because he's good at that. Yeah. Okay, which one first? Let's go back. I'm still this. Let's do the simple heater first. Let's burn this two wood up, and we move one of those tokens. That's great. Uh, next, Roman's gonna dig through this furniture. Let's see what we find. Ooh, we found good stuff. Two electrical parts. Oh no, two me two mechanical parts. Two and two electrical parts. Oh man. A That's wood, so and is points. that a raw food? Yeah, one raw food, one wood. Looks like it's some food back. Bam and bam. Okay. That was a pretty good haul. I'm excited about that. Marin here's going to poke around. So he gets ability, add three to the die roll. He rolled a two, so that counts as a five. On a five, he gets two wood or components. He's taking wood, because we know now we need to burn wood to heat the house up. Yep. Uh, that's their two actions. So the day is done. It's kind of productive. We built a heater. We're heating it up. I like that. Dusk. Everyone drinks water. We have no water to drink. So, what happens? For each character that did not drink water, roll the black die. On a 1 to 5, raise their hunger by 1. On a 6 to 10, raise their misery by 1. Okay. So, Roman. Hungry. Two. Roman's hungry. Um, Sveta is miserable. Is miserable. Mis misery. <laughs> Marin is miserable. So okay. hungry, miserable, miserable. Roman hunger. Hunger. And then we have two miserable misery. This one up here. Okay. Uh, one thing to notice: see how Roman has two abilities with one blacked out circle. Uh, they kind of overlap, so he still has two actions. It just takes the greater... It just... It, I just need to cure both those now for, for him to get his third okay. action back. Uh, speaking of hunger, they need to eat. Each character should eat one or more food. I only have one left. Uh, yeah, I have sugar, but they can't eat sugar. It's not enough. Well, so only one person gets to eat. Probably Roman, since he's yeah. already at hunger level two. Might as well. Roman... Here, buddy, have some food. So 
his hunger is going to go back down, but the other two, their hunger is going to go up. Did you get anything today? Okay. Alright, day two here. Things are already getting rough, but yeah, that's just the way it goes. Better than our practice day two. Yeah, pretty much. We, we had someone... May they rest in peace. On their first day, it was too realistic. Um, evening. Okay, what can we do? Uh, characters can sleep on the floor. It lowers their fatigue by two. Uh, guard duty or scavenging. Do I want to scavenge yet? Yeah, I need food. It's time to go scavenge for some food. There is a supermarket here. Yeah. So Marin's our best fighter. He's going to go scavenging. Roman? Roman. I'm sorry, yes, Roman. And who's going to guard the house? Let's see. Let's have Marin guard. And uh, I'm thinking... She sleeps? Well, sleeping on a floor lowers their fatigue by two. So I think I'm going to go ahead and have her guard as well. Because these these guys are not good at guarding. So okay. maybe together... Um, they'll be okay. Better together. <laughs> but then tomorrow they are sleeping hard. They're, okay. They've been up for uh, 48 hours now. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Things are getting rough. Okay. Uh, okay, so since I have someone scavenging, we get to do a whole section for a Roman for his scavenging. So first thing I do is choose a location. Uh, each one of these is far or close or closer. Close, distant, far. Uh, and that's going to affect things. We're going to see how. It affects how many things you can find, basically. Yeah, yeah there's, we go through an exploration deck, and the farther away the uh, location is, the smaller the deck, because we have less time to go through that stuff. It's kind of cool. So, supermarket. Choose the equipment. He has no equipment. Set the noise marker. That's going to matter. Uh, but you know what? I can bring stuff. He can bring stuff from the house. But he can only hold. Yeah, you'll see here, there's a little three. weighted symbol here. He can only hold three weight. I'm gonna call it pounds, but that's not super realistic. Three, three pounds of, of stuff. Um, it's a good idea to bring some stuff because you might meet some people you have to trade with. Uh, but also, you need, to, you need to not have a lot of stuff so you can find stuff and bring it back. True. So I'm going to split the difference and bring one thing. I'm going to bring three electrical parts. I'm going to bring one in case I feel like trading it. Okay. And it only weighs one, so that should be okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Headed to the supermarket. Head to the supermarket. Ten exploration cards. Ten exploration cards. Into so the unknown they go. So, we basically go through this deck one card at a time, finding good stuff or bad stuff. First thing we do when we get to the supermarket... Oh, actually, we can look around. There's an ability. Is pay two exploration cards to take a look around. So, yeah, we can burn two of these cards to take a look around. And uh, what does that do again? Well, I read a journal entry, and that should tell you what you could expect oh. around the supermarket. Let's do that. Let's be a little cautious. I'm going to burn two of these cards, and they go right back on top. Very well. <laughs> what is it? It's 975. Uh, 975. It instructs me to instruct you to roll the black die. Okay. That is a seven. A seven instructs me to read another entry. <laughs> Entry 1653 says, This supermarket is located in an area which remains under military control, but people are still trying to forage for supplies. We can expect to meet other scavengers there, so it's probably best not to get in their way. Some doors might still be locked. A lockpick could come in handy. We wonder how many of the supplies are left. Search for the closed door card in the exploration deck and resolve it. Oh, in the exploration deck? Closed door? Yes, sir. Okay found the closed door card. It's a little like this. Check the current location card for closed door. There is a closed there door. There is a closed door. Uh, if there is no... Okay, skip that. If there is a closed door, you may resolve this card immediately or place it in an, on the exploration slot. Resolve it later instead of drawing a new exploration card. 
closed door. So I can try to pick the lock with a lock pick that I don't have. Okay, so what happens is I now know about the existence of a closed door. So I get to set this here, just kind of on the sidelines. And now if I'm lucky enough to find a lock pick, you could go back and lock, pick the lock and open it. So I've looked around, now let's explore. The first thing I find is a door. It's a lock pick. <laughs> Uh, I can peek through the keyhole, returning one more card back from the unknown deck to the exploration deck, or I can enter. If I enter, I raise the noise by one, or roll for noise. Uh, and every time we roll for noise, uh, we are trying to get whatever number this is on or lower, uh, oh no, or higher. If we roll this number or lower, uh, a resident hears us and we can flip a resident card and see what that does. And that's usually not good. Uh, we're doing pretty well, so I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna enter. I'm gonna raise the noise by one. So our noise level is at two. And it's roll, uh, raise or roll, so I'm not gonna roll. Okay. That is resolved. Our next card is rubble. Okay, map card. Check the current location card for rubble. Is there rubble nope. there? No rubble. Okay. If there is no rubble, discard this card and draw a new card from the exploration deck. Okay, that's easy. Moving right along. The next card says stairs up. Look for another way, returning two more exploration cards, or enter, raise noise by two, and roll for noise. Ooh, this is noisy. So I can put two more cards back, which might be bad because we haven't found one yet, but some of these cards are good for us. And I might be putting those good cards away or raise the noise. I really need food. So I'm gonna raise the noise by two and roll for the noise. Doo -doo -doo. We're up at four now. So I'm gonna roll this and I wanna get higher than that four. And we're good with that. I don't know if you can see it, but I rolled a five. So luckily no one heard us go up these stairs. Very excited about that. Reality impact. I have not read this one. Let's see what it does. Something unexpected has happened. Draw a card from the colors deck. That's a separate deck here. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, the color is gray. Let's see what that does. Then draw a card from the exploration deck uh, and check the number of, of that color. So I pick gray, that number is 302. 302 it is. Maybe we imagined it but it looked like something fell out of the upstairs window. We approached the windowsill to check it out. Crap, there's a body of a man on the grass in front of the building. He must have fallen from the apartment right above us. Is the killer still up there? You can go carefully to see who's there or get your things and move somewhere else as fast as you can. Wow, okay, we just saw a body come out the window. I am unarmed. I don't know if I wanna fight that guy if someone killed him. But you know what? Roman's a good fighter, so let's go investigate. Okay, another journal entry. We were on our way up the stairs, trying not to make a sound. We could imagine the murderer standing at the window and looking down on what he'd done. Or soldiers who'd just eliminated someone who knew a little too much. Or else someone who'd killed their comrades so they wouldn't have to share their food anymore. But there was nobody there. We only found a backpack on the table containing some leftover food and an old book. It was a crumpled family photo next to the backpack. Mother. Father. Baby. There's a chair by the window and footprints on the windowsill. Hand marks can be seen on the window pane. Someone grabbed it for balance. We can only imagine why the guy chose this way out. Add one book and one raw food to the findings pile. So it paid off. Yeah. At what expense? That was heavy. But we must survive. So I take the stuff from his backpack and keep searching the supermarket. Someone's here. Raise the noise by three. One, two, three. Hmm. So no one's found us yet, but it's very likely someone's about to find us. Next card. Hiding place. You may ignore this card, or you may ignore this card, which I might do, or return two more exploration cards to save it and use it any time during the scavenging phase. See, there's only two left, and I haven't found anything good yet. Well, you got food and a book. <laughs> yeah, so I could basically run home with my food and my book, or I could keep exploring and probably get found. 
One food just isn't enough. Well, Roman, WWRD. He has enough weight limit to carry one more pound of things. Um, so I'm gonna ignore this and keep searching. I feel, uh, I feel like something good's gonna happen. Stairs down. Look for another way, return three more exploration cards, or enter, raise the noise by three and roll. Okay, see, now this is too far. I, I know for sure if I enter, I'm going to be heard. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna cut my losses and run. Uh, okay. I'm gonna return three exploration cards, which means now the deck is empty, which means my time is up. I need to get my butt back home to right. my house. So, mean, meanwhile, a night raid? Meanwhile, <laughs> these two have been home guarding. Let's see what happens to them. Uh, no weapons are assigned to them. Draw and resolve the top card of the night raid. That's residence. Thank you. You're welcome. Starving people. We have been raided by starving people. Um, so here's what they're going to do. Damage. Any four tokens slash resources, starting with green ones. So these people want our sugar, and they're going to steal some more of our stuff. And wounds. They're gonna wound one of us. Um, here's what we can do to try to stop them. We can fight back. Roll a combat die for each character in the guard space. Let's start with Spenta. She has no weapons, so she's gonna roll the gray unarmed dice. The number of icons showed on the dice indicates the amount that you subtract from suffered damage or wounds. Okay. So, she's not a good fighter. No prowess, right? No prowess. So, she just kind of cowers. Her empathy's so high, she just feels really bad for these hard people. But Marin, he also is, <laughs> he has one prowess, so he's gonna reroll that die. Oh man. They didn't get it done. So these starving people have just overpowered us and uh, we just weren't strong enough to fight back. So they're gonna take all kinds of stuff. Uh, first thing they're going to do is take any four tokens slash resources, starting with this sugar. That's one token. Wow. Rough. Any four tokens or resources? Yeah. I wonder if that means these. Those are resources, yes. Okay. So they definitely take the sugar. Correct. And then they take three of the uh, okay. components. So that's four tokens and resources. A bummer. And they deal a wound? And they do deal a wound. Uh, let's see, who takes that wound? I'm going to say Marin takes that wound. He now gets a wounded marker. Oof, that was rough. Night raid card goes back. And those just continually get shuffled? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's only like five of them, so... Ooh, actually, you know, I've been forgetting a step. That's okay. Which step? Uh, where I add the harder stuff in. But how do... That happens at the end of every night. So I oh. just, I'll just add two to the state. So that was the night raid. That was kind of a bummer. Uh, but now uh, something new happens. Crime wave. Basically, every day we're here, things get worse and worse. So I have a side deck you can't see of more night raid cards and more resident cards that are actually stronger, harder versions of the cards we already have. I'm going to take one each and add those to the existing decks and shuffle them. So now we might start encountering... Uh, actually, I'm going to add two of each. For last night as well? Yeah. So now we might start stumbling on harder uh, encounters. Ugh. One day I thought we would make it. Um, okay, it's dawn. Roman comes back from foraging. Bring in... Uh, Stuff you found from the backpack. Looks like the supermarket didn't have anything going on, but we now got a book and some raw food, and we'll bring the electrical parts back. So a lot of resolving has to happen right about now. Yeah. Some hunger, some drinking, some fatigue. Yeah, things are getting rough. So let's take a look at our people. Here at dawn also is when we would assign meds or bandages. Mm -hmm. We had any. Uh, and also we draw a fate card end of every day. So let's see what that is. I don't quite remember. Raise the wounds of all wounded, unbandaged characters by one. So here's why you would want to bandage someone. Yep. Right before this. So 
that starving person that punched Marin. Uh, looks like that wound is festered. <laughs> He's in a bad way. Yeah, he is. Not looking too hot. If cold tokens minus board ups equals three or more. Ooh, it's they not. do not. Luckily, we okay, have the heater. That's one good thing we have that heater going. But if the cold minus board ups equals three or more, I would raise the illness of uh, those all my three characters by one. Wow. Because it's so cold. Because there's not enough going on. <laughs> I exchange the nearest location. And these cycle down? Yeah. And we get a new one? We get a new one. It's going to be the small apartment building. The only thing it has is a basement entrance. Hmm. Uh, resolve Spirit B on all character cards. So here's where these fake cards is when things okay. start happening. Let's take a look here. Roman. Roman B. If any character in the group is wounded, level 3... Raise Roman's misery by one. He's only wound two, so he's okay. But Sveta here wants her coffee. Discard one coffee from storage or raise Sveta's misery by one. We have no copy, coffee, so. She's miserable. She's a little more miserable. Luckily, misery takes a, a, a while before it starts affecting us. He wants Maybe coffee here. as well, all right? Yeah, he does too, so his misery also. Okay. Um, also, their fatigue goes up because none of them slept. Okay. Wow. A lot of sleeping today. I'll tell you that. Well, except for the one person that has the stand guard. Which would be Roman. <laughs> Which would be Roman. Suck it up, Roman. Fate also gets shuffled in. Roman would like to place a call. The number you have reached. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, they get one, shuffled in. One. I also draw a narrative numbers. action card now before the next day begins. Or I draw two, read them, and choose one. Okay, let's see what these do. I'm pretty sure these are positive. Vigilant Watch. Play during the night, fa night raid phase. Uh, I can lower the damage or wounds from a single night raid card by four tokens, slash resources, slash wounds, um, or close call. Play during any combat to ignore all wounds from a single combat die roll. Hmm. Hmm. Think about Vigilant Watch. All right. Let's put this other one back. Shuffle it up. Here we go. Now I have this little card to uh, hopefully save us from a, another terrible night raid. So now, now it is the new day. Day three. The morning of the new day. So real quick. Yeah. Nobody ate or drank. Oh, that's... Did I skip that? It depends on when it happens. Oh, no, no. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Uh, that happens right before the scavenging and stuff. Oh, so, okay. So I took care of that. That happens right after the, the day phase, which means after our actions, then they have to eat, so things are about to get worse. <laughs> By actions plural, he means action singular. <laughs> Poor Roman. Um, and... And oh, oh, it's all of them. Oh, okay. Now he gets it. So my people are very weak, very tired, and very wounded. So they're going to take it easy today. They only get one action. Man, that is such a bummer. That is such a bummer. So I still have some resources. I'm going to see if they can build anything that might help me the next time. I really need food. Really, really need food. <laughs> and water. I can build a rainwater collector, or I can build a herbal garden. You know what? I don't have the materials for a rainwater collector. I need a filter. Mm. We have not found a filter. But I think I can build an herbal garden. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Herbal garden here. Uh, all I need to build it is one mechanical part, which I got. Four components. Which you four wood. Oh, I don't have four components. Which you can poke about. You're right. With Marin to do that. And give that action to somebody to build after he pokes about. I only have one action. So... Right. It'll be till tomorrow. Marin gets one. Yeah. She gets one. But it gets resolved simultaneously. Oh. Yeah. That's a bummer. Don't quite have the resources for it. Um, so lots of poking about and some heat. Yeah. Start the fire. Food store. Five components. Nope. Deadfall trap. Five components. Three components. I can build a radio. <laughs> mm. I can build a moonshine still. When do you check for visitors? 
Uh, that is now during the day phase. I could send someone outside to to look for visitors. Got it. So you know what? I don't have anything to build, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have someone. I'm gonna have Marin continue poking about. He's good at that. Okay. Hopefully, I roll better. Uh, I'm gonna send Sveta outside. Okay. To try to make contact. And, and then uh, he's gonna start the fire. He's gonna start the fire. Okay, how does she do visitor? I just draw one? Uh, first off, oh. I roll this black dice. Okay. On a one, she gets sniped. Hmm. Because there's still people on the street with guns. I was not a one. Well, that's good. Whew. Draw and resolve one visitor card. Well, it's a starving neighbor. A neighbor begs for any food you can spare. If you decide to share by discarding a raw food, a canned food, or a vegetable, Roll the black die and consult with the character's empathy. If you equal or less than their empathy, lower their misery by one. If you decide not to share, roll the black die, compare the result with their empathy, and a result that's equal to or less than their empathy, raise their misery by one. If you do not have such storage tokens, nothing happens. Do you have canned food, raw food, or vegetable? I do have one raw food. So you have to choose to share or not to share, and depending on what you choose, well, let's see here. Sveta is massively empathetic. empathetic. So as much as I don't want to, I think she's she would want to give these people the food. Okay. Um, because if she doesn't, there's a very, very good chance her misery is going to go up. Her, her, It would. Like, you'd need to roll a 10. Yeah. <laughs> so she's going to take the raw food, and she's going to give it to this guy because no one, none of the other guys see her doing it. Okay. She's a uh, school headmistress. She, she just feels bad. Okay, so roll the black die. Is this the time you get a 10? <laughs> Lower her misery by one. Okay. She, she feels good about herself. Yep, I'm going to shuffle this visitor back in the pile per the instructions. And we're going to move on. Move on. So while she was giving their food away... The house got warm. The house got warm. Let's take two of these. Uh, poke about. Poke about. You know what? I forgot to draw the event for this one. Let's take a look. Let's do that real quick. Add three to the cold space. So one more, please. Army deals. Place this card on the findings pile. Um, the value of cigarettes, moonshines, alcohol, and jewelry is raised by five. So this goes here. So any stuff you bring tonight that's of that has its value increased, which means you might want to find some residents to do some trades if you have any of that stuff, which you do not. Yeah, I can't, I can't imagine jewelry being worth much in this world. Yep, no one cares. Cigarettes, booze, and moonshine, or alcohol, I guess, could be used for a big deal. disinfecting too. Okay. So the only guy left is Marin. Po poke about. So you poke about. Six. Six. That seems like a good roll for poking about. Yeah, it's three, so that counts as a nine, which I get four wood or Components. Take two components, two wood. Yeah, anytime you can get two wood. Yep. Keep that wood supply up. Burn it. Okay. Okay, that was their one action. Now it is uh, dusk. So now they eat, drink, and be merry? Yeah. So everyone meets up, and uh, the guys go, Where's that food? I brought that food home last night. And Sveta goes, I, I don't know. She totally lies about it. Um, there's no water to drink. So, roll this dice for each character. I don't want a five. Hunger goes up. Six to ten. Misery goes up. Roman. Roman. He is hungry. Roman is hungry. Sveta. is a liar. Uh, that's a six. Miserable. So, she felt good earlier, and now she feels bad because she realizes she took the food. I think she feels bad about lying. I, okay, I get that. Right? She does. She feels real bad about lying. And he feels bad about rolling not a 10. food or water. Okay, so... Misery those... on Ro uh, misery on both of them on the end, and hunger on the first guy. Roman. Okay. Hunger loves company. So miserable, miserable. He's misery three now. Yep, now it actually starts affecting the things. Like gravity. Okay. Hey guys, it could be worse. You could also be sick. Oh, 
by the way, that was just water. So now they need to eat. Uh, they can't. <laughs> so again, all their hungers go up. Oh, that just straight happens, huh? Just straight happens. Two, three. So notice it's not linear, like when it goes up by one, it doesn't automatically take another action away. It depends on how high it goes up, so. Uh, and also just so you know, it, four is the max, like things happen. Yes, never check. Cool. I mean, not cool, but super hungry, evening. Oh man, do they need to sleep. Well, two of them need to sleep. And Roman stands guard. Roman stands guard. Put him on the bed. See you guys on the floor. You go. Sleeping on the floor. So uh, lower their fatigue by two. That's good. Yep. Gives one of them an action tomorrow. Roman here. Night raid. No weapons, of course. Draw and resolve. Night raid card. Uh, looters. Looters have come. The damage they are going to inflict is any six tokens slash resources and two wounds. Not if Roman has to say anything about it. So the first thing Roman does is fight back. He, uh, his special ability is that he always rolls the yellow dice. So even though he's unarmed, he does damage as if the other man had. That was one, but he has three prowess. I'm gonna reroll that hoping to get. I would. Better. There it is. Okay, so he gets to subtract three from this combination of six, uh, well, I guess eight wounds slash tokens. tokens. Well, he can't take a wound. Like, that's just, we don't need that. No. Well, he's definitely taking the two wounds away. He's going to take one of the uh, the six tokens away. Up to five. And now, actually, luckily, we had a vigilant watch which means we get to lower it by four more. Yep, so one thing gets taken so away. The looters take one thing. And it doesn't say, oh, starting with the most expensive. Shovel? Wow, they're nope. taking our shovel. Wow, oh, is it the shovel? Yep, it's worth six. Ladies and gentlemen, four looters for a shovel. That's how good Roman is. <laughs> Sorry to see the shovel go, but uh, it could have been worse. By the way, um, oh, we need two books to burn in a heater, huh? Yeah. I saw a book and I was thinking, man, maybe we could have burned one book instead of two wood, but it's two books. Yeah. Okay. I think that was a pretty successful evening. You lost a shovel, whoop de whoop. Yeah. Let me count my blessings on that one. Okay. Crime wave. I'm going to take another. One of each. Night raid card. Another. By the way, that those looters were the one. Uh, of course. Beefed up crime wave. Card. He's looking at me because I shuffled that one. <laughs> Don, scavenging party that doesn't exist, returns, assign meds, um, we have none to assign, draw a fate card. Oh boy. This one, sir, says, raise the wounds of all wounded unbandaged characters by one. Aaron, those guys that punched you the other night, they just, their, their wounds are festering. If cold tokens minus board ups equals four or more, does raise the illness of all characters by one. They're getting sick in this house. Oh, despite our heater, it's just too much. It's too cold. People start to get ill. Okay. Exchange the nearest small location. Are there any small locations here? Small. That's the nearest. It is now a central square with a, an open space and some rubble, just in case. Um, resolve any weight tokens, and then resolve all Spirit A. Spirit A for uh, Roman. That's his cigarette habit. Don't have it. We don't have any, so his uh, misery goes up by one. Not a big deal. Hers is not coffee, the coffee was B. Uh, if any character in the group is hungry level three, raise her misery by one. Yes, that's all of them. So she's now miserable three. Yep. This is a sorry band of individuals at this point. Yeah, things are not well. Marin A is his coffee habit. Misery four? Three, four. Wow. He is not a happy. Misery f <gasps> Misery epilogue. That's not a good what do, word. What do I read? Uh, C208. Let's see here. Oh man, I think I know what's gonna 
Marin? Marin. I must read another entry. Let's see what it says. It says, one night Marin left the shelter, taking the action figure he had always talked about with him. He disappeared without a trace. Discard one most valuable token from the storage. Remove him from the game. Wow, he takes off with an electrical part. Marin's gone. Marin leaves us. Well, if there be an upside, it's that you no longer have to feed him. The truth is, you weren't feeding him anyway. <laughs> this token. Uh, so long, Marin. Often, but there are ways to get more people as well, which I think I'm going to try to focus on. For Maybe. sure. I might want to focus on hunger as well. Look, at the end of the day, Marin was hurt. He was suffering from an infected wound, had caffeine withdrawals that didn't help anything. He couldn't satisfy his hunger or his thirst. He was tired. It was time to move on to the night phase. <laughs> well, night's over now, so it's morning. Oh, they slept. That's right. That was the... That was uh, that was dawn. Oh. So that was the very end of the day. And now we begin anew. First thing we resolve is an event phase. Boy. What does the new day bring us? Uh, it brings us adding two to the cold space. So one... It's getting real cold. And that's with you heating up the place. You need to start boarding it up. How do we board it up? Harsh winter. Oh, good. Place this card permanently in the cold space. At the beginning of each morning phase, place two cold here. Okay. So this might be the way we go. Trying to find, um, where do you find board ups? Board ups are something you can build. Once we, we- Oh, in the workshop? Yeah, we get something where we can build board ups. Make board up, there it is. Yeah. So you have to build a workshop. Wow. Okay. We get our day actions. Uh, Roman only gets one because he's so fatigued, but Sveta gets two now. So I think what I'm gonna do is look at this deck of cards. I believe those require greens. All of those require a green to be built. You're right. But seeing as we have a simple heater, I wanna see if we can build a more efficient one. Oh. Uh, there's- To beat back the cold, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. I can improve the simple heater to efficient heater do I need? I need two mechanical parts. I have those. I need one electrical part. I have that. I need three components. I have those. Okay. What does it do? Uh, it makes the heater more efficient. It only burns one wood instead of two. Okay. I don't. Uh, that's not. I don't think your part. Yeah, your 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 wood loss is not. Uh, yeah. You know. By the way, you could throw in one book and one wood. Okay. Because uh, it said two or. Yeah. So. So here's what I'm thinking. This is rough. My cold is too cold, but I just don't know if I'm going to beat that back, but we have to try. So Svet is going to spend this action burning wood. And it removes how many cold tokens? One. Uh, and also during this action, I'm going to have Roman try to look for help. It's okay. One action. So here's the thing. You're, you're like at max cold tokens. Yeah. You're removing one. You're still almost at max. For her action and the resources, are you sure that's what you want to spend? Well, I'm thinking she gets one more action, I might do it again. Okay. But let me look real quick, see if there's anything else worth doing. I still can't get through those doors. Well, because don't you put one less cold for every hole you board up? Yeah. She can make a workshop. Oh, and then and then build on her second action? In the f Yeah. Okay. Or, or a metal workshop. Which one were you trying to do? You were trying to... Last round, you were one thing shy. Do you oh, remember that what? was uh, was it metal was for food? Oh, the herb garden. Yeah. I mean, look. Whew. Do you have a mechanical part left? Oh, you know, you cho you chose to not do the upgraded heater, so. Yeah, I have two mechanical parts, two electrical parts. So can I build that? You can build almost anything in this deck that you'd like. I have no food. These guys can't. Uh, man, I might have to scavenge again. Oh, herbal garden only gives me herbs. I don't care too much about. I just realized none of this stuff. Okay, I need a stove. Stove gets me food. Two mechanical parts, five components, three wood. That I can do. So instead of heating, she's gonna build a crude stove. Okay. And he's gonna roll the outside die, correct? Yeah. He's not as empathetic, so he's not gonna give food away to people. Mm -hmm. um, I have this open space, so she's gonna build that there. Takes two mechanical parts. 
five components. You might as well just discard it. There's a lot to put on that card. Okay. Yep. This That's all cool. goes. Mm -hmm. This goes. Is that right? And so let's go ahead and resolve her. She has built a crude stove. Now this stove, I'll go ahead and read, it allows you to prepare a meal with some herbs and water in a book or wood. It also lets you cook dinner with raw food, water, or wood, or a book. So that's a that's a big deal should you start to find that stuff with yeah. Roman, I'm assuming. Hopefully. So let's see what happens to him. Okay, he's First, gonna He's gonna do is poke his head outside and hopefully not get shot by a sniper. He did not. He did not. So on a five. Let's go ahead and resolve that visitor card. A new arrival. A gravely wounded stranger asks for shelter. If you decide to take him in, draw a card from the unused characters deck and add them to your group. Level two wounds, add a raw food, three vegetables, to the storage. If you do not, you may buy items this person is carrying per the trade sheet. So look, you need people, do you not? Yeah, I'm totally thinking of letting this, this person in. You have Arisha, Arisa. Orisa is a cat burglar with two prowess and a little bit of empathy. She does like her cigarettes, loves to play some guitar though too. Uh, she's strong, she's sneaky, once per scavenging, rolling for noise, she may lower the noise by five. When she uses a lockpick, she may re-roll the die. She wow. is a, she is a lockpick and thieving you know fiend. What? Welcome aboard. Go ahead and grab three, ve three two, two wounds, two wounds, three vegetables and one raw food. I think oh. that was a good play for Roman. Yeah. Well done, Roman. She's a cat burglar. There you go, right there. Welcome to the team. That, that was, was the... his one action. But to actually get some action now. Now, too bad you don't have water. You could cook that meal. Sure. Anything it can do with it? No, not without water. water. Maybe now she can heat that stove with a book and a wood. Or she can poke about. Yeah. Yep, she's gonna poke about. Her okay. same action. Let's see what she gets. 10. Four. I was close. Or gives me one. I get one wood or one component. She's not as good as me. He's gone now. You need wood. Need wood. Not because you have two things that use wood now. You know what? Now that. Do we need a new narrative action for this day? Uh, yes. Yes, we do. Draw two and pick one. I don't want to forget those because. Yeah, just just so just so we keep in our head. This all happens at dusk um, or um, dawn very end of the day, you get a fate card and a narrative action card. Oh, so I read the fate card, but I didn't pull any narratives yet. So this would happen before all this. The first one is, got it. Play during a scavenging phase when resolving a finding card. You also find a knife. Oh. It would be nice to have a weapon. Secret storage. Play at the beginning of the night raid phase. Place any three tokens resources from the storage on this card. They are ignored when the night raid damage is resolved. So you get to safeguard some stuff. If... Uh, that knife, I think. Okay, I agree. Let's get shuffled back in. Okay. And now I have a card I can use that when I find stuff, I also find a knife. That's gonna be handy yep. for whoever's guarding. You know what? Now that we found Arisha, does she, she would get an action too, I believe. She gets one action. Okay, so what's her one thing? I think. Does she, does she wanna burn the fire? Or does she go looking for a visitor? <laughs> I think she's just going to poke about. Okay. Reeling with resources. Let's see how she does with her ten. Six. She gets two wood slash components. Let's go with wood. That wood. Okay. The day is done. Everyone's taking their appropriate actions. We're thirsty. Yes, you are. <laughs> Starting with Roman. Starting with Roman. One to five, he's hungry. Six to ten, he's mad about it. Yep. He's hungry again. He's hungry. Sveta. He's hungry. He's hungry. It's about time. She hasn't eaten in. Oh, this is thirsty, yeah. Arisha is miserable. Miserable, hungry, hungry. Okay. Oh, no. Hunger goes up to four. For both of them? For both of them. Hunger epilogue. Okay, here we go. What's the hunger epilogue? For Roman. Well, for both of them. Oh, no, they're different. For Roman, it's 208. Okay. Roman 208 refers me to 1305 way at the back of the book here 1305 says roman was unable to accept the reality of his situation he despised his weakness and inability to control what was happening he only knew one way out he killed himself 
there was no suicide note. Remove this character from the game. Oh, Roman. Suicide, buddy. What is Sveta's number? 645. Sveta sends me to 252 in the Tome of Bad News. That is accurate. Had Sveta lived to see the war's end, she would have found it difficult to answer her pupil's questions. But at least she would have tried. Not that it matters now, the children will have to find their own answers. Remove this character from the game. So it looks like uh, Arisha stays to guard the house yep. tonight. So I will have to uh, scavenge next tomorrow. Maybe. Maybe. We learned that if you don't guard the house, it's over. Yeah. Okay, uh, hunger. She has no hunger. If she eats vegetables, their hunger stays the same. So luckily she brought some. She's gonna eat one and stay not hungry. Okay. Evening, she is all alone. She must guard the option. So we go to the night raid. Let's take a look. Another memories card. Her name is? Arisa. Uh, misery is? Uh, one. Okay. Uh, Roll the black die. Six. I am told to go to a certain page in this book. Or a certain entry, I should say. Do you imagine if it was actually that many pages? That night I was hit by shrapnel in my thigh. The army entered the city and indiscriminately started slaughtering rebels and civilians. We had to scram, and I couldn't even get out of bed. So I was just lying there, waiting for death to come. I was hoping the old drunk would save himself. I didn't expect he'd stay with me till the end. Why worry about something you can't change? Back to the game. It was a quiet night. Wow. So, she is fatigued, correct? She's uh, miserable. She's not fatigued. Oh, I'm sorry. She is fatigued because she's oh, guarding. Right. Thank you. But that's the night? That's the night. So we're going to add... Uh, night raid? Have a card of the night raid pack. Another resident to the resident's deck. So now this night raid is full of, or half and half, really bad ones and normal ones. Yeah. Okay. Dawn, this captain party would return. We would assign meds and bandages. If we had any, draw a fate card. Raise the wounds of all wounded unbandaged characters by one. Uh, that trap on her thigh is uh, starting to fester. Oh, wrong one. Oh no. She has no actions? She has no actions. Okay, let's raise the illness of all characters by one for it being so cold. Okay. And then we're going to resolve spirit A, which is cigarettes. She has a cigarette habit. Misery? Raise it by two. Cells or two people died this morning. She's just not feeling good. Uh, I get to pick one of these narrative actions. Hopefully, they're going to save me. During the, kick the door down. Play during the day action phase or during the scavenging phase. You automatically open a closed door. It's a good one, but she has no actions. <laughs> Dead on. Play during a, any combat or during your backstab. If you are wielding a hatchet, automatically kill one enemy. Hmm. Or play during the night raid phase. If the character on guard duty has a hatchet, automatically ignore. Ah, none of these are very good. Okay, I'll kick the door down for what it's worth. So we're just kicking the door down? No, no, it, it just means during oh. one of the day actions, I automatically kick it down. Instead of picking a lock or what have you? Right. Okay. That was my narrative action. So now we go back to uh, the morning. Grab. Okay, so we grab a new chapter card. But can we if they're hunger? That right doesn't, what happens here? Yeah, those kick in now. So we check her. Is she hungry? Is she? She is not hungry. Is so. Fatigue, misery, illness, but she's not hungry. Okay, reward, clear mind, draw two additional narrative action cards for this. Oh, draw in uh, two. Okay, maybe these two will help me. 
Well, the top one was that hatchet one. Um, oh, they're supposed to be shuffled, though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Night Owl, play at the beginning of the evening phase. Choose one character. That character may now perform all of their actions again. <laughs> also no help, because she has none. Yeah. And what was the other one? I had to give him a weapon, right? Dis uh, discard a functional weapon, <sighs> and you would have peace. I have no weapons. So, failure? Failure. Distribute three wounds, and we have concluded this adventure. Yep. Grisha is beat to death by soldiers. Let's see. Let's read the official entry under four wounds. 285. It begins at 285, and that will send me... How interesting, they actually have it as a re Erica, as it, with a K in the book. Yeah. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it all turned out in the end. Erica was as tough as they come, but even she couldn't survive. The harsh reality of living in the ghetto was incomparable to the horrors of war. We have lost the war of yours. <laughs> this game is tough yep this game is brutal it is all of those things and more we hope you enjoyed our sound experience through the game this war of mine and we will see you tomorrow evening at another board game meeting bye everybody